Hey everyone, it's Amani, and I'm back again with my handy dandy MacBook. Today we're diving right into this unique review and tour of the Bentley Hotel in Southampton. All right, so to kick things off, we have this beautiful view of the outdoor heated, that's right, heated pool. And this is a motel. Again, that's a motel with an M. Um, and this is an all suite motel with all 40 suites. Every room they have is a suite. There are two floors or two levels, I should say, on each side, and they are all composed of suites. Now, some things to make note of, um, they do have an on-site food truck if you are hungry. There is not a restaurant or anything like that on site. Um, they have an outdoor event space and they are pet friendly. Now, again, emphasis, all sweet, you guys. I was very surprised pleasantly at this venue as I don't usually associate motels with suites. Now, this room, which is where I stayed, it was very, very clean. We're starting off in the bathroom, which was right in front of the door when you enter it. The first thing you see is the bathroom. The shower was great, really clean, great water pressure. And if you haven't noticed by now, the theme of this motel appears to be pink, which personally I couldn't get enough of. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful property. And if you are sharing your room with someone, they have that dual action sink going on so no one's hogging up the bathroom, or at least, you know, two things to get done at once. Now, this is the living area space of the suite that I was in. Now, I got in really, really late, so bear with me. But this was the living room, you guys, and look how beautiful it is. In a, again, super clean. I can't emphasize, emphasize that enough. Uh, it was in great shape. Each room does have a balcony, or at least if you are on the second level, you definitely have a balcony. I was on the second level. And while you guys take in the view of the balcony, I'm just going to read off some more of the room features and services that were available. Now, each room has a kitchenette, which you will see shortly, a separate living space with a sleeper sofa. So the sofa you see is additional sleeping space. There's a 55-inch LED smart TV in each room, individual climate control, blackout curtains, which y'all, the blackout curtains... They were curtaining because the sun, for whatever reason, was coming out early. There's a Bluetooth record record player, which you will also see shortly. There's a desk, Keurig coffee and tea maker, refrigerator, garment steamer, and in-room suite, all of which you will be seeing in this video. Now, please make a note, because there is a steamer in your room, you will not find an iron. Y'all, I was looking up and down for the iron, and I was like, oh my God, there's no iron in here. And it's because there's not. There is a steamer, though. And it was great. Um, also, there's complimentary high-speed Wi-Fi, concierge, and free parking. Free parking, free parking, free parking. But you guys, look, just take this in. Look how beautiful this living room. We haven't even made it to the bedroom yet. The living room is. Now, as we get into some of the amenities that I had mentioned earlier, like the record player and the kitchenette area, which is all coming up, I'm going to mention some more things that I definitely loved about this property. Now, when you think of motel, you think, at least for me anyway, outdoor access and safety. Now, what you're going to see in this video coming up very soon is technically there was no outdoor access. So when you walk out of this room, which I'll get more into it when we get closer to that part of the video. When you walk out of this room, you actually are going to walk out into a hallway before you actually hit the outside of your living space. And you'll see exactly what I mean in just a few moments. But in the meantime, this is the kitchenette area, which I really loved because even in your higher end hotels, you don't tend to see things like a full size refrigerator. Like that was really awesome. If I was someone who was traveling with multiple people and we had a bunch of carry out to bring back, because again, there's no restaurants on site, this refrigerator is definitely going to come in the clutch along with the microwave. And as you all can see, it is clean. And before I forget to mention in relation to safety and outdoor access, do make sure that you double check your windows and your balcony doors just to make sure that they're locked. Mine were not locked when I got there. All I had to do was flick the little switches and everything was secure before I went to bed because again, I got in super, super late. But just an honorable mention, make sure you check your windows and doors. Now, this is the space that holds your steamer, your garment steamer. Again, no iron, but there is a steamer. There is also a safe in the room. There's some additional pillows that you'll also see up top above this coat hanger area. And this is just some extra storage space. But just wanted to put an emphasis. Again, you will not have an iron or an ironing board, but you do have a steamer. 
Now we are about to approach the bedroom section of the tour, but really, really quick, I just wanna let you all know this particular um, property is about three and a half miles away from its closest beach, which appears to be Cooper's Beach, just an FYI. And it's also relatively close, about mm, 10 miles or so from your nearest vineyard for you know the wine lovers in the room. But anyway, here is the sleeping quarters. So I had a two queen bed, even though I was by myself, it was totally fine. Two queen bed, uh, bedroom, sleeping area. And y'all, look how beautiful this is decorated. Again, the pink, I can't get enough. I loved it. Now, this is one of the blackout curtains, blackout shades. You just pull the little string for it to go up and down. And again, came in the clutch because the sun was shining and apparently the weather was sweet, baby. But again, make sure that you lock your windows. If you're paranoid like me, lock your windows before you go to bed for security you know make sure nobody's creeping in your window the only thing that kind of turned me off was that my bedroom door didn't lock now what i was saying earlier we have made our way back to the indoor outdoor access you see i've just exited my suite room and i'm in a hallway you're like what motels don't have hallways oh but they do my friend now what you do is my room is technically on the left someone else is across the hall from me on the right and from your outdoor access it looks like you're going directly into a room but really when you open the door from outside you're entering into a hallway first that allows you access to your room and the door that does have outdoor access can only be opened with a room key so you don't technically have outdoor access and it's more safe at least in my mind to me to stay there so i thought that was really really cool and that's going to conclude the tour portion of our video. Thank you so much for watching all the way through to the end. And again, this is located in Southampton, New York. It's about an hour and a half with no traffic, but of course there's always traffic in New York from LaGuardia Airport. And you guys should check it out. You really should. I'm definitely planning to go back. But in the meantime, make sure you subscribe. Go ahead and help us monetize and we'll see you next time from here, there, anywhere.